I'm going to talk you through theming with Deity Falcon. So I've already set up a site using Create Falcon app. This is using the new theme connected to Big Commerce, WordPress, Stripe, and Algolia. So as you can see, I've got my client and server directories. So first things first, let's get this up and running. So we'll cd into each directory and run yarn start. Cool, now that may take a minute or two, but once that's done, your site will open up in your browser. Now we've got our site up and running locally, let's look at some code. So within the client directory, we should see a source folder. And then within here is a styling directory and that has a theme.js file. Now this is where most of the styling is gonna happen. Here we can see lots of global variables, colors, spacing, fonts, etc. So let's go ahead and change one of these and see what happens. Cool, so I've changed that to red and thanks to hot reloading, we should see that on the front end. Cool. And we can see anywhere that primary variable is used has changed to red. Theme variables are also available to us within the theme editor. We can open that up and we can see a list of all the variables. Here we've got colors. So if I wanted to change one of these, say to gray, That's then going to give us an object here with the variables. So colors primary, and it's got that color there. You can also see it's changed on the front end. So what this does is this just builds up this object here, which we can download or copy. This doesn't actually change any of the source code. So this, is, this tool is really useful if you wanted to get someone maybe non-technical or someone just to really quickly mock up how your site could look by changing a few colors, they can do that. And then they can send you, your developer, this object, and you can start then replacing the variables within the theme.js file. So this is not a permanent solution, but it's a great way to get started and get a site looking kind of on brand very, very quickly. Let's take a look at how we can use some of these variables within our components. So we're gonna start by changing one of the header components. So that lives within source, components, header. And we're gonna look at the header menu bar. This relates to this area with the logo, search, account link. So there's quite a lot going on here, but we're gonna start by looking at this header menu bar layout. Now this uses this themed function pulled in from Falcon UI. This allows us uh, to style various to create a styled component, uh, passing in the particular element, in this case, a div, but we could change this to button icon or anything else. And then it allows us to pull in a theme. And this is where our styles go. And you can see these strings here, these all relate to variables within the theme.js file. So we can, hear, we can see here we've got spacing. So XS, SM, and we go here we've got spacing and that refers to these variables 8 and 16 pixels. Now you can see some of these don't link directly to CSS properties. We've got PY and PX. They, they're actually shortcuts for padding uh, vertical, padding horizontal. You, can, you might also be wondering XS, SM, how is that mapped rather than using spacing.xs? How does it know to use spacing here and display within within this property? Well, there's actually some mapping going on behind the scenes, and that can be found within the Deity Falcon package. So node modules, Deity, Falcon UI. Within there, you'll see this responsive props.js, and that can give you an idea of some of the mappings. So we can see here M maps to margin margin and the theme prop is spacing so that means what that theme prop means is that's going to be using one of these spacing variables 
So let's look at another example which is using something different. Fill, stroke, border color, they're all expecting uh, a variable from the colors object, so primary menu bar. Each of these accepts a string or an object with the exception of CSS which also uh, accepts a function. The use case for passing an object here would be for responsive styling. So padding, you can see here we've got different styling for the XS and the SM breakpoints. Now those breakpoints can be defined within your theme but if you wanted to see what the core ones are set as we can go to this theme JS and we can see all the core variables including these breakpoints. Let's change some of these variables and see what happens. So for the sake of this demo let's change the vertical padding to be the biggest possible variable. Let's see if that takes place. We should have a padding of 64 pixels. Cool, and that's kicked in. But what happens if we want to use a value which isn't defined in our theme? We don't want to have to define new, new uh, variables here every single time we want a different spacing. What if we needed 100 or 200 pixels? So that's where the CSS comes in handy. So let's get rid of this padding. We're going to give it 200 pixels and let's see what happens here. Cool. So now we have 200 pixels padding. Let's remove that because it's pretty ugly. If you want to use any variables within CSS, say for a child selector, that's also possible. CSS accepts an object and a function so we can pass themed to it and have all of those variables available to us. So this looks like this. Now theme is just an object so we reference it in any other way we would. Theme, colors, primary. So let's change the color of some of these links. theme, colors, primary. We'll save that and hopefully some of these links will turn red. Cool, okay, so there's obviously some styling going on which is stopping these guys going red but we've got our search has gone red. Now if you don't want to create a layout component for every single, uh, fit comp every single uh, element on the page you can also pass these in line. You can see here we've got this header icon and this is just getting inline styles exactly like this and again we can pass a function to CSS which allows us to have this theme object available to us. We can also introduce global styles. If we go back to our theme.js we'll see at the very bottom we have a global CSS object defined. Then if we go to our app.js, that's source app.js, we'll see that we import that. And we use that into our theme provider. I hope that was helpful and it helps you get started theming.